Adam Richman spent years trying to determine the final winner in the never-ending battle between mankind and food. After a seemingly infinite stream of gastric challenges, Richman moved on, but the battle still rages with new host Casey Webb. Here are a few things you may not know about Richman's reign on Man vs. Food. Man vs. Words You might think the biggest challenge of hosting Man vs. Food is the competitive eating, but Richmond says when he auditioned for the gig, the one thing they didn't have him do was prove he could take down an insane amount of grub in a single sitting. Instead, they focused on finding someone who could speak knowledgeably and passionately about food. He told Hebe, I auditioned for Man vs. Food. I had nothing to do with the conception or creation of it, at least in the initial stages. No challenges along the way. It was just talking about food. But out. Inquiring minds want to know all sorts of details about the food challenges on Man vs. Food, but Richmond told Bro Bible that there's one type of question he doesn't care to answer. Bathroom questions. And you will get them from the most unusual sources. I always want to be like, why do you care? He said when one former high school classmate reached out with a diarrhea-related inquiry, he realized he'd had just about enough. So for those scoring at home, Man 0, Poop 1. Now Oyster Free if you're wondering whether or not doing any of these food challenges permanently ruined a food for Richmond, it absolutely has. He told The Mirror that since tackling 15 dozen oysters at the Acme Oyster House in New Orleans, he'd had enough, as he's not a fan of eating anything that's still alive. After the oyster challenge, I think I may have had less than a dozen since. It just turned me off. Oh, that was so stupid. Glutton for punishment. Alton Brown has been a staple in the world of food-based television for as long as cooking has been popular TV fodder. And he's definitely not a fan of Man vs. Food. Brown told Zap to it, That show is about gluttony, and gluttony is wrong. It's wasteful. Think about the people that are starving to death and think about that show. I think it's an embarrassment. Richmond took to Twitter to defend his show, writing, Alton Brown, MVF is about indulgence, not gluttony and has brought loads of biz to mom-and-pop places. You were my hero, sir. No more. Hashtag damn shame. These words represent disappointment, dishonesty, and, and disillusionment. Man vs. Shade Richmond's stint as host of Man vs. Food came to an end in 2012 after he quit the show because, according to an interview with The Guardian, the spectacle diminishes over time. When the show relaunched five years later with new host Casey Webb, though, for some reason Richmond still felt proprietary about his former job, responding to an Instagram comment that he didn't consider Webb to be a fit replacement. Replacement? LOL? Nah. Just someone driving a stolen car. Sick burn. Luckily for Webb, though, Richmond happens to know the perfect cure for that. The not-so-secret heartburn fix. Richmond might not like talking about other man versus food caused digestive issues, but he has talked about his tried and true method for fighting heartburn. He told Today that it's not about taking care of the problem after it happens, but instead, he's all about preventing it in the first place. To start with, he drinks a ton of water to prepare for something he knows is a heartburn risk, giving drinks like coffee and soda a pass. But the bigger part of his special heartburn cure is what he takes with that water, the anti-heartburn drug Zantac. It's all about being proactive. Everyone thinks I'm just shilling Zantac, but it's really what I use. So the next time you embark on a spree of wanton gluttony at your local mom and pop joint, be sure to follow Richmond's advice and take some heartburn drugs first. Your stomach and apparently your toilet will thank you later. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.